So now we're going to go back to AIDS, right? Because that's why you came. You came because of AIDS. Well, what's the difference with AIDS and pneumonia? What's the difference with AIDS and TB? There is no difference. I should know that. Remember, I was arrested and charged with practicing medicine without a license. Used to buy and watch them arrest me. Because you were a little bit more asleep, you didn't get up and say, well, holy, he's defending on my mother. Let us go see how we could help this institute. But no, the institute, I especially was arrested and charged with practicing medicine without a license because I said what? I cure AIDS, blindness, diabetes, lupus, herpes, sickle cell. It sounds fantastic. It sounds gross. It sounds like it is impossible. Sure it is impossible because we forgot our mother and we have been entertaining the Western medicine. They told us that disease is the result of germ, virus, or bacteria. Am I right? Who said that? The Caucasian again. But how do you know that's true? Have we done any research independent to that of the European? He done his research. Fine. The Japanese did his. Good. But what about my mama? My mama needs representation too, isn't it? <laughs> I want to hear what my mama has to say. When my mama said that there's no such thing as a germ of browser or bacteria, then what is it? I said, man, it is a microbe that is generated in the body when erosion begins. So you see, explain that. I said, very simply. If I take a very healthy human being and lay them on the table and not move them for a month, when I raise them, what are they going to have on their back? A bed so. And inside that bed so would be some little worms, isn't it? Sure, but where did the worms come from and where, did, where were they birth? In the man himself. Ah, but why the, but why the bad soul? You didn't move that person. That part of him was lacking of oxygen. You never see bad soul on the top of the person, you see them on the bottom. The deprivation of oxygen causes all disease. The big mystery, you see how quick you learn that? Every disease that is manifested is caused by the deprivation of oxygen. You have it with a very healthy man. Lay him down and not move him. He will get a bed so. I said, and your honor, if I take a potato, place it inside of an oxygen-free vesicle, a vessel, 14 days later, you begin to see it break down. And then you see little worms coming out of the potato. Where did the worms come from? From across the street that invaded your potato? <laughs> or from inside the potato? From inside the potato. So when they talk about this virus, you think that it was something that you inhaled in the air. No, because we were misled. The information that we all have had is sitting in our heads came from who? Who told us that carrots were good? Was it our mother? No. And I said that carrots is no good. Why are you angry with me? They said that disease is the result of what? Germ, virus, or bacteria. But we just threw out virus. Because the man had a bed so. And he got it because of what? Not moving him. His body was being deprived of oxygen. Now we go internal. When those cells cease to receive oxygen, they break down. And depending where the erosion is taking place, what disease you would have. If the erosion is in an nostril, it is what? Sinusitis. If it's in the bronchial tubes, it's bronchitis. If it's on the lung, it's pneumonia. How about the germ and the bacteria? Remember what we said, that nature only creates those things that complement itself in support of life? How does a germ or a bacteria support life? They never existed. Everything in nature complements. Everything complements. A bacteria, a germ, or a virus simply does not exist. It is a manifestation that is caused by erosion. But the erosion is caused by mucus, and the mucus came from the food that you eat, the stuff that they told us to eat. I'm you. I'm addicted with salt. I'm addicted with sugar that came from Europe. 
did not come out of Africa. Cain did not come out of Africa. Because Cain is also a hybrid plant. He was made. He's a laboratory product. You see? African did not eat in the laboratory products. So it's so big mystery. So we go back to AIDS again. So what is AIDS? Mucus in the lungs. That's all it is. So don't get frightened. I should know. Two men that have been cured by us. But then he gave us. The white man he gave us. But that's right. He's supposed to because I'm not white. But you don't know. And I'm negated by you too. Between a rock and a hard place. You know what's cute? It is nice. AIDS is the result of your immune system being compromised. And the only thing that causes the body to go into erosion is acid. Not alkalinity, acidity. And for the body to be acid, one has to ingest foods that brings about that erosion. Acid foods. That's all. It breaks down the immunological system, which is what? The lymphatic system, the blood, and the skin. That's all. So what do we do? There's mucus in the lungs. There's mucus in the whole system. So what a sensible person would do? Because that's all I do. Clean the shit out. Clean the colon. Clean the cells. Clean the body. And there the body receives oxygen and reproduces itself, all the cell that has been eroded. You cut your nails, they grow back. Am I right? You cut your hair, they grow back. But the difference with the hair and the nails, they are out in oxygen all day long. But the cells internally has to receive that oxygen. You see, so now, what do we do? We deobstruct those arteries, you know, all that milk that you've been drinking all these years. And the cheese that Reagan feed our grandmothers. <laughs> You, you know, cheese. Do you know what you are telling a race of people when you feed their ancestors cheese? He has no respect for us. He has no respect for us when he feeds our parents cheese. He's saying that we are too dumb to realize that he's poisoning our mothers and our grandmothers. That's what he's saying, that you're too dumb to realize that. And she is likewise helpless 